Hi everybody, welcome to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes. I'm Lene Gehrig and today from our friends at Hunky Dory Crafts, I've got a great collection, iris folding. It's so amazing, it makes great cards like this. Look at all that intricate folding there, but it's really easy to do. So we've got four cutting dies and some paper folding papers and also this great little book of sentiments. I can't wait to show you what I did this weekend. So come back and play with us. So this cute little stocking is this wonderful little iris folding pattern right here. And then we've got step-by-step -step instructions. Hunky Dory is so great about that. Turn that over. We've got our little cutting die here, which fits through any cutting die machine, Big Shot, Gemini Junior with that six inch wide platform. Works great. The background paper is from, here we go, I was looking for it, Christmas Aglow 6x6 patterned cardstock. And we've got some sweet little gold thin line dazzle stickers right here and right here. And this is that sweet border there with the candy canes on it that's just here. And so this is a five by six and a half inch card. And so that fits right there. And we've just cut off that little bit right there. And then I also used some of this great red gingham plaid at the top and the bottom, and then glued this right there on the center. Add in my little gold borders, so cute. All right, now don't worry, we're gonna show you step-by-step step how to put this together, but let's go through the next one, which is the angel. Here is the angel card, and on the back, of this from Christmas Aglow is this really beautiful sort of starry night situation going on here with the beautiful gold. And at the top and the bottom, I added a little paper. This is actually the folding paper for the iris folding, but it's also got this beautiful script writing in here. So I just took a little bit of that and I put it at the top and the bottom. And then we've got our little fancy border dazzles here. Grab those. And these are Fancy Border Pearl and Pastel. I had to write it down. I always say Pearl and Pastel and Pearl, but it's Pearl and Pastel Fancy Border Dazzle Stickers in this fantastic gold right there. That's along the top and the bottom. One of these great little sentiments right here from our book of, of um, it says here, Hunky Dory Essential Book of Matt Tastic Christmas Sentiments 2022. They come in both silver finishes and gold finishes. See that, there we go. One of those right there foam taped and then I've got a little bit of that 1 8 inch grow grain ribbon. That is somewhere on my desk. Here it is. And I use that on the stocking as well. All right, the next one is the snowflake. So here is the snowflake die. Here's the snowflake pattern. Once again, the instructions. And then the card looks like this. So for this one, I used six by six Joyful Christmas, which is just full of all these gorgeous plaids. And I used this plaid right here. It has this red and pink sort of going on and then this blue around it and if it's great on this six by six card. And then once I did all my iris folding here, I went ahead and added some straight line dazzle stickers. And these are new for us and they come in a couple different finishes. I think there's also a colorful set. And these are more of a primary set here. We've got our um, gold, silver, black, white, and brown. I guess it's not a primary finish, it's more of a classic finish, really. And I used the silver ones here and here, and then took one of those silver Happy New Year sentiments from this book right here. And then on the inside, I wanted to show you, right there, you can take the snowflake that is cut away and then just add that to the inside, and you can do that with all of them. So, for the iris folding, I'm going to show you how to do that on the tree, but I wanted to show you the papers that I selected from the special iris folding paper pad. And this pad has solids in it and just a wonderful array of colors. And then we get into the ones with a little bit of metallic on them as well with that pattern, which is gorgeous. 
So I went with some darker shades and then some light. And the way that works is, is their pattern will, t will show you here that it's got darker, medium, light, and then sort of a very light color. So this one used three different colors from this book, and it can be any colors you want as long as you stay in that range. Now you can do it with just two colors. You could do um, a collection of just one uh, light colored paper and one dark color paper, and that way you wouldn't have to do quite as much mixing. It's just really up to you. It just works beautifully though. All right, so let me show you the last card, the last one here, and then we're gonna actually do the iris folding. So this is the Christmas tree. Once again, we've got their pattern going here and all the instructions, and then here is the tree. All right, so now I need to find my tree. So I've already done the iris folding on this one right here. And for the background paper, once again, I used the Joyful Christmas, and it's got a couple of great brown and tan. I used these two and this one right here. And I'm gonna show you what it looks like on the back when you're done. It looks like kind of a mess, <laughs> but there is totally a method to this. And as you can see, it's not very thick at all. Like, there's not a lot going on as far as thickness here. It compresses very nicely. So on this one, we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna dump out all my stuff here so you guys can see. So my card base, I've actually cut down a little bit. So this is six inches by five inches. And then I cut about an inch off the right side of the flap only and covered those with the joyful, the, um, the joyous, joyful Christmas uh, six by six patterned paper. Now, what we're gonna do is take this one that has already been cut down because I wanted it to fit right here, okay? So I went ahead and die cut it from this paper, trimmed it down, I even went ahead and inked the edges. Um, I'm liking, to, I'm just loving the Friar Brown ink pad. So went ahead and inked the edges on that and now what we're going to do is open this up and you're going to place it right here over the pattern. Okay, now here's a tip. You can take this and you can actually use some little low tack tape or washi tape to tape this down. And then you're going to be doing a folding process and a gluing process, which I'm going to show you. And you're going to be building this, so it looks like this, right here. Here's my tip. This actual pattern is gonna get really gluey and sticky. So what I did, I just took one of the packages um, that maybe my paper pack came in. I just stuck these on here for now. And what you can do is a sheet protector would work. Just something stiff in the packaging. So you wanna put that right there and you're gonna put that like that. And now you can go ahead and tape everything down. Whoops, I'm really kind of off register here. There we go. You can tape everything down and you can still see everything, but this is gonna protect your pattern because it will get sticky. And I'm just going to tape it like this. And how I'm taping it is, I'm actually wanting to get some of the paper, some of the plastic, and some of the background paper. So this all stays pretty, pretty centered there. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is you're gonna select, here you have dark, and then two different colors up here. So you need a total of three different shades, okay? Two shades of green, and then this down here appears to be like a brown. So if you look on the front here, they used red, and then I used brown. So you can definitely switch things out. So you wanna go in here and you wanna find your shades of greens, just like that. And for mine, I used this holly, that's sort of a light green, and then I used, well, I already cut them up, but I <laughs> used this darker green right here. All right, and then what you're going to do is you're going to, it says in the directions to cut these um, between 30 and 40 millimeters wide, all right? So I looked that up, I did my in two inches conversion, and that 30 inches is 1.18 inches, and 40 inches is about one and a half inches, all right? so. Here's the little tip, if you wanna get more out of your sheet of paper here, 
you can cut them a little closer to one inch and it will work fine. So this one's actually a little large. So I went ahead and folded mine a little thinner, okay? So here's my examples. And I'm gonna show you that folding process. Here we go. Here's my brown one. All right, so what you would do is you would measure the width that you want for your particular project. Some of these, like the snowflake, are really, really close together. So for those, I would go down to even three quarters of an inch wide strips to one inch wide strips instead of cutting them all to one and a half, okay? So we're gonna take our paper, we're gonna fold it in half, just like that. And then as we wanna glue these pieces together. Now the instructions here tell you to use a glue stick and I've done that in the past. Um, I find that just about any kind of glue stick I use, sometimes these things just kind of pop open, as glue stick is known to do. What I prefer to use is Cosmic Shimmer Special Stick Acrylic Glue. When you use this, it's not going to pop, these aren't going to pop open on you. However, this applicator does put out a little bit more glue than I prefer. So, this applicator, which is a fine tip applicator, really, really is very nice. So it's sort of the perfect solution. So what you're going to do with this is just put a little fine tip of glue on their line of glue. And you're gonna do it like that. Now I would recommend only doing one sheet of each color at a time. At the first time I ever did this, I took, there's three sheets of each color. I took all three sheets and I cut them up and I folded them all. And then when I was done, I had so many colors left over, which is great if you're gonna sit and make multiple of the same card. But I wanted to move on to a different kind of card. So yes, and then also maybe they'll, they're the wrong width for another card you're gonna make. So just do one sheet at a time. It'll be plenty to finish this card. And I'm gonna actually, I've noticed that's a little too wiggly. I'm going to do this. All right. Got to put my little, there's a little thing there. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do number one right here. Let's zoom in there. Woo. There we go. Nope, we're good. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is this, do this number one. And I've cut this brown one down to be very thin. But you'll notice when we put it here, it's gonna go into the Christmas tree. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it down a little thinner just for this first placement. And you don't have to do this very often, but occasionally. Now, this is another great way for this little applicator to come in. You're just doing that little bit of glue right there. And then the fold, this is the fold part. It's gonna go in towards the pattern, not out, so in. So your fold is always facing inward, like that. All right, so that's the toughest one because of that space there. Now for this next one, here's number two. We're gonna put a little bit of glue right here and a little bit of glue right there. And then you're just going to place this here, but then, oh, we're getting into our little pattern. I'm gonna trim that down like that. And then I like to just trim it like that. All right, and then now here's number three. The fold is always facing in. Oops. And then number four is right here. And then here is number five. Once again, we're gonna trim off this little part right here because it's gonna get in our way. 
And then if you go off the edges of your paper, don't worry about it. When you're done, you can just trim those off. All right, very nice. And then we have number six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, so if we keep doing that, it's going to just kind of do this little swirl right there. That's how it looks. Now, let's move on. I'm not gonna finish this part. Let's move on to the green part here. And you're gonna start with number, you ended here with number 10. And then you're going to start up here. Oops, I just moved it. Come on. There. You're gonna start up with here with a star with number 11. And the star is gold. So we have this pretty yellow. So I would just cut this out. There's no fold necessary on this piece. Put a little bit of glue right there. All right, there your star is done. And then we're gonna start with the darkest shade of green for number 12. Okay, cut that one very wide. See, there's a couple different widths here. Now, here's my fold. And I'm just following the angles. And you could pre-cut these. I just found that cutting them as I go along is a little faster that you could go ahead and pre-cut them. As you can see, they do start to get wider, so moving in this way is just a little easier. All right, now we're gonna go to a lighter color here. 14 and 15 are the lighter green. There's 14, here's the fold, always facing into the pattern or, or down. And then here's 15. Then we're going back to the dark color for 16, and we'll do 16 and 17, and then we'll stop and show you what this looks like. Once again, the fold is here. And then I find that, so that you don't get it, this whole thing to be super thick, is at some point, just stop and while the glue is still wet, and then kind of do this. Smush, 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 smush. So don't wait till the end to do the smushing because your glue will have dried considerably, okay? So as you can see, we're doing this sort of crisscross pattern all the way down, and then I got lazy and my pieces got bigger and bigger, and I just went off the edge, there's no problem. All right, so let's take this. You can see what's happening so far. Okay, so you see we're doing the crisscross all the way down. In this place, of course, will be finished off. Just like that. Okay, so that is how you do this craft. It's very fun. I sat there and just watched my television and had a grand old time cutting my pieces and gluing them on. Gotta put my little needle back in, my glue applicator. This is so nice because it helps it from getting clogged up. All right, so here is our card base. Now we've got this piece right here. It's all dry. And I'm gonna take some foam tape. Here and here. I'm avoiding putting foam tape in the center because that is the thickest part and it does not need any more dimension there. Gonna go right there. Fix there. And then we can take one of our little, oops, upside down. One of our little greeting pieces right here. I think we will do. Hmm. Your family at Christmas time is very sweet. I hadn't thought about this before I picked it out. There's so many choices. Let's do this. Let's do deck the halls. And there are some little tabs there, so you can just take 
your scissors and cut off those little tabs that hold them in place so you don't have a fuzzy card. You can put deck the halls right there. And then we've got glad tidings, peace, love, and joy, winter blessings, warmest wishes with love. I like warmest wishes. Okay, I'm going to turn that over so I can cut off these little tabs. You could also use an emery board or sanding block or even just your fingernail to take those little fuzzy bits off. Okay, and we can put this like right there. I'm going to take a little piece of foam tape. I should mention our giant wheel of foam tape. It's a great deal. It is 150 feet or 50 yards. This is like the most foam tape you'll need for a very, very long time. Debbie and I love our foam tape. We each have a giant wheel on our desk. You can put one right there. There we go. And we can even put, we've got so many, we can even put one right there. This one I'll just use my little fingernail to get those off. And this one we can just glue on there. It says, with love. Right there. And then you could even put one right here on the inside. It looks so sweet. I love how that turned out. I may add a few Dazzle stickers to this. You can check out the finished card when you are looking at our webisode page. They're right down below the video. So you guys, let me tell you about this great money saver that we have right over there on the right hand side of the screen if you're watching us on our webisode page there we go if you're not watching us on our webisode page and you're watching us on youtube you can look um, below the video um, at the description box where you'll see a link that'll take you to this paper wishes webisode page and you'll find the money saver on the right hand side and down below the video we've got full color pictures and supply lists and then we've got all of the supplies that you can add directly to your cart also below the video thanks for joining me today don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time